This is not financial advice, not legal advice for entertainment, educational purposes only, and anything I say is my opinion. Please don't make any financial decision based on anything I say in these videos. That being said, hit the like button, the subscribe button, all that YouTube album stuff, so you get the videos I put them out, so you don't think and see them analyzing that data. But like I tell every day, the data released us is false. It's going to give us a false narrative of the market so we can make bad trading decisions. Listen, B. Riley, the big dogs, are unable to file their annual statement on time. And here's the thing. Do they need time to fix the books? I don't know. I don't know. But what I'm going to tell you is this. A lot of government agencies, Mr. Powell, they want us to think that the market is doing great. They want us to think that life is good in the United States stock market. It is not. And the fact that B. Riley can't file their annual statement on time tells me that they don't want to report or they're figuring out a way how not to report all the losses that they incurred in 2023. That is what I believe. That is just my opinion. I'm not telling you to put your money with B. Riley. I'm not telling you not to put your money with B. Riley. I'm just telling you that I believe that they are in trouble financially, that they are having liquidity issues. They're down 15%, 15% on the year, and they cut dividends by 50%, okay? They can't file their annual report on time. They're already down 15%, and they cut their dividend by 50%. All I'm telling you is this. All the naked shorting on AMC, GME, and other stocks is having a negative effect on the market. And all these hedge funds, all these market makers, all these banks, their liquidity is slowly drying up. They are figuring out ways to kick the can down the road. But eventually, guess what happens? You run out of road. There's no road to kick the can anymore. And that's what I believe is happening with B. Riley and the banks and other actors that might be naked shorting AMC and GME. They are realizing that the road is about to end. There's no place to kick the can. And when that happens, they should be forced to close out their AMC and GME short positions. And then people or investors, rather, who are long on AMC and GME should start to see their attendees. Anyway, please leave some comments. Tell me what you think. Why do you think B. Riley is late filing their annual 10K? Is it because they're trying to find a way <laughs> to hide the losses? I don't know. Anyway, have a great day. God bless. And I appreciate y'all on this journey with me.